Hello everybody, it's Laura here. So we are going to try today um, a chain pull. Don't know if it's going to work. We shall see. But I have my black pillow that I use for my balloons down here. And um, I just have a little piece of chain. And I'm not sure if it's going to want to bend enough the way I want it to. Well, yeah, I think it is. This one is, it's kind of hard. I don't know. First time try, we'll see. This might be better done on a bigger piece. So all I'm doing is uh, dipping it into my little cup of paint kind of getting the excess off this might be need to be just a little thinner but we're going to see and so we're going to start in the center kind of let it sit for a moment and then Pull it. It worked. It worked. Where'd my paper towel go? So now I'm going to wipe this chain off. Just running it in between the paper towel. Well, this is going to be messy. I got to come up with a system here. Okay, I'm putting the paper towel down in my little box here. And then I just put the chain on it and up and over. And now I am getting black into my paint. I don't like that. So let's try one more over here so lay it down let it sit for a second to get that paint off and kind of give it a little drag i really think perhaps my paint needs to be thin now. I oh, am I creating a mess over here? You can't see it, but <laughs> I got paper towel with paint on it. Now I got a handy wipe that seems to work better. Okay, so let's go with um this coral color. Maybe if I just set it on my, I'm, I'm dipping it over here to get some of the excess off on my silicone mat. Pretty. Yeah, that worked a bit better. Too much paint on here. So let's get, the problem is, is this chain isn't as bendy as I think it should be. Maybe I have to get a finer chain. All right, I'm going to dip it off over here on the side. Ooh, that's pretty okay yeah definitely need a um, finer chain and this is what I picked up I thought would work but it's too thick and it's not um, Oh, what's the word I want to say? It's not uh, flexing enough. That's the word. Okay. 
Okay. Now we're going to put one right here. That one barely did anything at all. We're experimenting together, folks. First time I've... Uh, well, no, I can't say that. I did try this once before years ago. Didn't enjoy it. <laughs> but now that I kind of know what I'm doing in the grand scheme of painting... I thought I'll give it a go again. Yeah, see, that's that's not even bending properly. But it's pretty. Not going as well as I would like. But I think someone will still like this. So I'm wiping it off first on a paper towel, and then I'm wiping it on um, a handy wipe to get rid of the extra black. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get to four colors. I think we're only going to have room. Oh, now this one is nice. I think we're only going to have room for three colors. That one turned out cute. Maybe I'll go shopping today and find some finer chain. Take this piece with me and get something just a little bit smaller that can bend a little more. Hmm. That one didn't do anything. Where'd my blue go? <laughs> this is the thing about, ooh, trying new techniques. You either love them or you hate them. And my first inclination years ago when I did this still holds true. I'm not liking this. I can't control... what it's doing enough for my liking. Let's try and put another one down here. There we go. Let it sit for a minute. Drag it off. Folks, this is very messy off on the sidelines here. All right, now let's take another purple. Maybe we'll put a purple between those corals and blues. But now I want it to be out a little more. Let it sit a second.
There we go. I don't know. What do you think? Is this successful? Is this going to be a total failure? I don't know. All right, so I got one there. Where did I put that other one? Oh, right there. Let's fix that first one before we move on. This one right here. There, that's better. Better, better. Maybe I'm getting the hang of it. Let's put um, a purple right here. So what I'm doing is when I dip it in my cup, I'm kind of touching it on the side to get some of it off let it sit for a minute so that paint can adhere okay this is coming this is coming we're getting there all right that's enough purple i think purple done More of the peach. Or this is Athena. It's kind of like a rosy gold. Let's put one of those right here. Get in there. Oh, this is going to be cute. Now, granted, this would be easier on a bigger object, but I wanted to try it small first to see if it even worked at all. Let's put another one of these right here. Let it sit. Drag it off. Have you guys ever done these before? I really wish I could talk to everybody live. That would make YouTube so much better. But then I'd have to do a live one and I haven't figured out how to do that yet. And then I wouldn't be able to see the comments. And it would just be a nightmare. So we live in a very um, rural area. Well, we're not too rural. We're, we're like 10 minutes away from the city, but our, our street is rural. We have tons of trees in our yard, and this is the first year that the weather was nice enough that we were able to get up all our leaves before it rained a lot. And we've got like a swale in our front yard. It's a natural drainage thing that brings water from across the street over to our side of the street, and then it keeps going. And that thing is always so full of leaves. And it's just beautiful. It rained yesterday. And all those leaves that we were able to get up solved that issue. First time in, in 10 years that we've actually been able to get rid of them all before it rained. We were happy. Uh, let's see. Where should this go? I think we'll put one. 
here. I'm liking it. All right, we need something over here. We need a purple one. Huh? Purple? Yeah, we need a couple purples right there. Bring the purple back. Thought I was done. one right here and then I might be happy and be done where did I say right here Okay. Can you try to tell I'm trying to talk myself into enjoying this? <laughs> so funny. It's like you either like it or you don't. Now this needs a peach right here and then I think it's done. It'll be pretty. I think I will like it. I'm just not enjoying it very much. the process. I don't like messy. Uh, you could probably tell I'm pretty neat. One of those neat painters. Definitely have to get a different chain. Okay. I'm done. I'm done doing what I'm doing. Now I'm going to spin it just a little bit. Close up my paint first. I am a wreck here. Just a wreck. All right. Let's get our edges now that we have some paint. So what I used for the base was um, the Walmart Color Place. Um, I think it's called Onyx Black. It's in my description. And check out the description. I got other informa other useful information in there that you might find helpful. Okay. I am liking this. I like it. Not sure I'll do a bunch of them, but I'm just going to spin it very slowly. Not my favorite technique, but this is cute. It's not a failure. It's definitely a success and cute. Another little spin. Something different, right? You always got to explore. Oh, yeah. Oh, and just like the last painting, this one is really, really shimmery and uh, glittery. Very pretty. So, let me know in the comments if this is something you're going to try. If you even like the technique. If you avoid it at all costs. What do you do with this technique? I think this may be my last one. I did not enjoy the process. But that's okay. Gotta live and learn and try new things. 
So I'm going to take you down and show you a close-up with the flash on. Look at that shimmer and shine. It's really very brilliant and standing out nicely. I, I like that you can kind of see through the paint, through to the black. It makes that shimmer come through a lot more. So there we have it. That was a, an adventure together this morning. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. Do you do this technique yourself? Do you enjoy it or do you hate it? Because I bet you it's one of those that could go either way. Okay, everybody, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.